The invisible things of God are clearly seen from the things which are made, even God's wisdom and his power. And we see that from the moon being the right distance from the earth. And it's uh, the sun's the right distance from the earth to give us, the, you know, a field full of corn. You know, it's to feed us. The moon cleans the tides. The, 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 no star. It um, guides the ships and uh, we know our direction. And the Jupiter, you know, vacuums all the big uh, balls of fire away from us. You know what I mean by that. The great big uh, meteors and things. Um, we're in exact position in the Milky Way. God has designed everything and perfect in its order, like a clock. It is a clock. We set our time by it, the stars, Greenwich Mean Time, and um, God is seen. So it's a laughter of fools, it's like the crackling of thorns under a pot. The unbelievers, it crushes them forever. That's where the Bible says, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father, but by him. See the foolishness of this world, it's like the crackling of thorns under a pot. So is laughter, is madness we read uh, in Ecclesiastes. So it is, that God shall laugh them to scorn, and the uh, wicked are cruel like a fool for the devil, for the devil's fire we read in. God says they are without excuse because, Romans chapter 1 verse 20, the invisible things of God are seen from his creation. Said it's foolishness to believe that Christ died in your place on the cross is the way of God's salvation. But it's not foolishness, it's the wisdom of God. For God was to die in our place for our sin. Therefore it's the wisdom of God because God's justice had to punish sin. So God punished Christ in our place on the cross. Well, that's the influence of the ash um, coming over our country. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. At least it was in the sky earlier. Is lining up tonight with the moon. It's the night. Well, now of course Venus is lining up <laughs> with the uh, the moon. That'd be interesting. When the well, strange, but today. Right. Well, if we look at the Puritan uh, Matthew Poole, what he says here on the um, heavens. Well, the Apostle Paul talks about he was caught up to the third heavens or he knew of a man. But what we need to know is that the first heaven is just above us. Consider the fowls of the air, etc. That's the first um, heaven. The second heaven is the stars, right? The third heaven is like when we pray, Our Father which art in heaven. That's the one. Well, there's your crescent moon and uh, there's Venus. Now, um, the Puritan Matthew Poole says, um, up to the stars, yeah? So we read that in Daniel uh, chapter 4, verse 12, um, the fowls of the heavens, and then, of course, of the windows of heaven, Genesis chapter 7, um, the starry heaven, we're told about in the Bible, uh, the stars of heaven, etc. And then we talk about our Father which art in heaven, yeah. Well, that is of course the Lord's Prayer. So God is in the third heaven which we cannot see. It's beyond our sight. But the invisible things of God are clearly seen from the creation of the things which are made, we read in Romans chapter 1 and verse 20. Even God's attributes of his eternal power and wisdom. Look at that. Venus and... Well, today's date, the 16th on Sunday. Jets are up there again.